IET NCERT presents audio book introductory macroeconomics page 85 module 5.3 income determination in four sector economy rationale it shows a flow of income among households firms government and foreign sector it shows the exchange of goods and services between the countries key concepts exports marginal propensity to import net transfers 5.3.1 circular flow of income in a four sector economy a four sector economy consists of firms households government and foreign sector the circular flow of income in a four sector economy is explained with the help of figure 5.9 figure 5.9 circular flow of income in a four sector economy circular flow of income in a four sector economy represented by government sector households external sector and firms this flow chart has directional arrows wherein we see that the external sector gives international factor income and net transfers to households the external sector also gives receipts from exports to firms households and firms in turn give taxes to the government sector the dotted arrows represent how the government sector gives payments for government purchases and subsidies to firms the firms in turn then give payments for imports to the external sector the government sector also gives payments for factor services and transfers to households households in turn give export of labor to the external sector another set of dotted lines connects the households to firms through the process of consumption expenditure factor payments are a solid arrow line showing how firms contribute to households this is a birds eye view of the circular flow of income in the world of globalization where most of the exchange of goods and services takes place among different countries foreign sector needs to be included while estimating the national income thus a foreign sector is included while studying the circular flow of income other than the firms households and government the external sector or the foreign sector plays an important role residents of a country move to another country in search of jobs or business and their earnings become a money inflow to the households the payments for imports of goods and services by the firms of a nation is an outflow of money to the external sector page 86 the demand for imports capital m however depends on domestic income capital y higher income leads to higher imports the demand for imports is thus assumed to depend on income it also has an autonomous component capital m bar m equals m bar plus small m y where m bar greater than 0 is the autonomous component and small m is the marginal propensity to import the value of marginal propensity to import should lie in between 0 and 1 hence m is in the range where m is greater than 0 and less than 1 here m is the small m the marginal propensity to import capital m pm is the fractional change in imports that occurs due to change in income it is a similar concept to the marginal propensity to consume the formula for mpm can be written as mpm equals delta capital m divided by delta capital y test your understanding 1 How will the households of a country A be benefited when it starts trading with its neighbor country B? 2. Will an underdeveloped economy have high or low level of imports? Explain giving reasons. Chapter 5 ends here. Introductory macroeconomics ends here. Happy listening. You were just listening introductory macroeconomics subject coordinator dr jaya singh production assistant 
जगबंधु जाना साउंड रिकॉर्डिस्ट बटीलांग लिंडो एंड विकास सांगवान आर्टिस्ट आनंदना कपूर एंड आकाश अहूजा प्रोड्यूस बाय विमलेश चौधरी एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया